Hey there, so if you have an ALU 1.1 and you're going to mount your Pixelcade LED, definitely the easiest way is to wire up the USB inside the cabinet. If you've got a 1.0, unfortunately you can't do that, um, but I'll show you how to do that if you've got a 1.0. But for right now, let's assume you got a 1.1. So we're just gonna undo some screws here and take this guy off. And so as this comes off, it may be a little tricky to see, there's a couple DC jacks right there. So we're just gonna unplug those and just set this down for a second. Right, so let's take a closer look inside at our ALU. So we got the main unit right here. And all we need right now is basically a little cheap USB hub like this. These are about eight bucks on Amazon. We need a thumb drive. This is what's gonna hold the Pixelcade software. Um, right now the Pixelcade software only takes up like 600 meg but um, we do plan to add more artwork over time. So I would just, you know, 16 gigabyte, 32 gigabyte, something like that, just to give yourself some room for expansion. And we can do a little sticky tape that will help as well. And then lastly, we got the USB cable from Pixelcade, which is coming from the top here. This is routing down. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take our USB hub here and we're gonna unplug the USB going into the main unit. And we're gonna replace that with the hub. Let's plug in the hub. Okay, so now basically we've got our USB hub plugged in, and then we'll take that USB from the ALU, plug it into one of these ports. We'll take our USB thumb drive, plug it into one of those ports. And then lastly, our pixel cade from the top, plug it in here. So basically we've got one port free. And then what I would do, you know, you can just kind of take some sticky tape and just sit it like so. So I'm just gonna put some double-sided tape here. Let's go ahead and take the other side off. Okay, and then we can just simply Take this and just, just lay it down like that. And then when we turn on the hub, gotta make sure these buttons are on, but we can tell if those lights are on, lights are on or not. Well, I'll show you that in a second. All right, so we got everything plugged in here. Now, one thing is you will no longer need the LED backlight on your marquee because that used to be lit up, but of course now you've got a Pixelcade. So what you can do is unplug this guy right here. That is the, not that one, I screwed up and did that one earlier. This one right here, that is the um, power to your LED backlit. So you won't need, I mean, you could leave it plugged in, but you really don't need it. You're just wasting power. So, okay, so one last thing, just on your USB hub, make sure all these blue lights are turned on. So if I click it, see that's turned off. So if I press it, so it's pressing in, it's um, blue, so you know that button's on. So again, the buttons are up, so just go ahead and press them. Make sure they're all pressed and all those blue lights are on. Okay, so we're just gonna take these two guys right here, plug them in each side. And then we're just gonna attach, reattach our cable. Now the other thing I did, and this is totally up to you, but normally you would plug your uh, adapter that comes with your Yacht Games, it's a 12 volt adapter, make sure you don't do the five volt here, into your wall. But I wanted to have everything uh, off one power strip. It's actually an Alexa enabled power strip, so I can just tell Alexa to turn it on. So if you look down there, you'll see the main power strip cable going out to the, um, to the wall. And then I would, what I did was I just drilled a little hole for this guy and then we can just plug that in just like that. So that's totally up to you. But if you wanna have everything on one power strip, it's a little bit cleaner. Okay, so I just reattached one screw right here. So in case we need to get back into it, we can do that. So you can see the back is all tidied up. So now let's go over to the front and set up things in the software. All right, so now we've got everything plugged in. Let's set up the software on the arcade side. So let's go to BYOG. I'm going to go to Pixelcade X. First thing we need to do is hit format. So we need to format that USB drive. OK, 
Okay, all formatted. Then we need to mount it. Let's go ahead and hit mount, hit yes. Okay, it's mounted. Then we need to do a download. So this is basically gonna download the Pixelcade software from the net. This is a one-time thing. Let's go ahead and get that started. Okay, so download's done. Basically, it downloaded a zip file. Now it's unzipping all those files, uh, which includes the Pixelcade artwork, to that USB thumb drive. All right, now we need to hit start. And so this is basically going to start the Pixelcade software. This takes about 10 seconds. And that's it. So now as we navigate through our games, we're going to see our marquee change to match the game. Now, the great thing about this method of wiring Pixelcade, everything on the inside of the cabinet, is you're not using up any of your USB ports on the outside. So, for example, I'm just going to plug in a USB drive right now. That's going to hold my coin ops. And then I've got one USB um, slot free for something else like gun or whatever. Now, um, but again, you can only do that on an ALU 1.1. If you have an ALU 1.0, then you can do a little differently, something like this. So basically I have that same USB hub. Man, I just used some double-sided sticky tape. See, it's nice and sturdy. You can't really see it if you're playing the game like this. So that's that's kind of nice. But anyhow, so it so here it is here. Um, you're going to take this, take this guy and basically plug it in um, to the right the rightmost USB slot, not the left. So that's very important. It doesn't work as good on the left. And then you would just take all of your, um, your other things. So I would plug Pixelcade in here. I'd put my coin ops here. I'd put the Pixelcade software on this other thumb drive and I'd have Pixelcade coming from this hole plugged into here. And then you can kind of also just to keep it a little cleaner, you can just take this excess and just stuff it back in. And it just looks a little bit cleaner. So it's actually not so bad. So again, right now we have a 1.1, so I don't need to have Pixelcade. Everything's on the inside, but if I didn't, I would take that Pixelcade USB cable, route it through here, plug it into here, and that's how I would do it.